Hey, what's up, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be going over new global auditions that are available right now, and they're doing different tours all around the world, basically. So the first one you might have heard is the High Labels one. So Source Music has a new girl group audition going on, and they're looking for girls born after 2006. So unfortunately, I'm not able to participate, but they're doing different cities around New Zealand, Australia, Thailand, Korea, Canada, Japan, Singapore, Malaysia. If you are interested in this, keep on watching, but we also have another global audition going on, and that is the Cube um, global audition that's happening very, very soon, actually. So not all the information for all of the cities are out yet. However, they've released information for Vancouver and Los Angeles, but on top of that, they're also going to Thailand, Tokyo, Osaka, Fukuoka, Sapporo, so different Japanese countries, or cities, what am I saying? Beijing, Shanghai, Toronto, New York, Sydney, and Melbourne. And similarly, they're also looking for people born after 2006, but I believe theirs is regardless of gender, so it's not just for girls. And I also wanted to briefly talk about ATRP. I don't really know how to pronounce that company name, but Chu is under that entertainment, but they are also doing an audition. However, it's not a global audition, so it doesn't like perfectly fit the theme of this video, but they're doing an audition in Korea. If you are interested in that, if you guys are in Korea, some people ask me for like, oh, like, what are all the auditions happening in Korea because I'm like visiting soon? And I don't know, I, I just don't post a lot of videos about that just because my target demographic mainly does not live in Korea. Anyway, let's get started with the actual audition portion of the video. So we're going to start off with the Cube audition and as you can see if you scroll a little bit, you can see that the Vancouver and LA auditions are already posted, like the details about the audition. So the other cities are pretty much going to be the same except for the pre-registration period and also the actual audition date. But for the Vancouver one specifically, this is until the 10th of September. So it's actually already passed. So let me just do the LA one so that it's a little bit more relevant. So this one is until the 16th and the announcement of basically people that may get to the next uh, step is going to be the 17th. This doesn't mean that they're like evaluating you. They It just literally showcases that you are able to move on to the actual in-person portion of the audition. They're just doing this to register people basically with the Google form. So the qualification is anyone born from 2006 to 2013 and the categories that you can apply for are vocal, rap, dance, and appearance. So the process, kind of like what I mentioned before, the first round is a pre-registration by Google Form, and then the second is the on-site audition. So how to apply? Click on to the link that we'll be visiting very, very soon, and then uh, fill out the Google Form. And the benefit is that you get an opportunity to be trained at Cube Entertainment. Yeah, so the location and the date of the audition will be announced by the email you wrote. So please check your email address if you correctly wrote it. And also understand that the email will only be sent to applicants who pass the first round. And if you have any questions, then make sure to Instagram DM them or um, ask their Kakao Tok as well. Oh, but it literally says it here. So that is very interesting. So I guess the location and date is revealed here. And I'm assuming that is the same for the Vancouver one. Oh, that's very convenient. But right now we're gonna head on to the Google form. So everything that we talked about before, your name, your gender, your birth date, your email address, your contact information, your height and weight, the categories, the residence. So just list off the city and country. They're not really looking for the detailed address in this situation. And then others, so your SNS ID, and then also the experience that you have, so the period of vocal or dance lessons. And then if you were a trainee at a company, they also want to know that as well. Just make sure you read through the personal information collection and user agreement, agree to it, and then submit the Google form. So like I said before, you're not submitting any content to them. They are evaluating your videos. You don't even have to send in a photo. They are literally just doing this to, to collect information about you and register you for the in-person audition. And also probably to get an idea of how many people are going to the audition as well. All right, now we're going to head on to the Hive Labels Audition Instagram. And for some reason, the Source audition, like Source Music audition account hasn't posted about this. I don't know why, but this is a more like bigger account. So maybe they just wanted to get a wider reach and only post once. So there's the huge list of different cities that they're going to and also the academies that are visiting for each. So the pre-registration period is quite long. It's until the 22nd of September. 
and they're looking for females born after 2006. I just want to say I absolutely love this design. It's kind of giving Notion meets computer science in a way. I don't know. I'm taking a computer sciences course, so it just kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if that's a good thing, but there's a bunch of different academies that they're doing. And if you have any uh, questions about it, it says go to the um, website, which we will be doing. And I'm pretty sure it is also in their bio as well. And it also says if you want to register, go onto the website. Okay, so make sure you agree and then change the language to English. I think it's already on there. So click on to audition. That is the page we're at. All right, so this is kind of like, okay. So the delivery period for the guide emails is from the 24th to 27th. So you would get, receive an email about more information about the second round. So probably the time, things like that, and things you might want to know before you actually audition. So the second audition will be held in the country and the city you apply to during the pre-registration, of course. And results only passers. <laughs> That's funny. Basically, those who passed will be contacted individually. Let's just apply for the audition in English. So the huge, the huge email. And then read through this. Consent to it. Click next. And also more consent things. And yes, consent. All right. So you have to do this as well. All right. So now you get into the good stuff. So your name, your date of birth. Oh, wow. They really listed off every single height possible. That's kind of crazy and so unnecessary, but slay, I guess. All right. And then the application or applicant information entry. So the mobile phone number and then your nationality and your residence address. So these are two completely different things. So I don't know why they grouped it together, but write down your nationality and then your full address kind of different from cube. You actually want to list off your full address here. And then your email address, your country and city of application, and then your application category that you're doing. Let me just fill this out real quick. Next. All right, so this time around on like Cube, you actually need pictures and also videos. So literally they are asking you for um, these because they are evaluating you. So what I said about Cube, it's going to be completely different for this. So kind of like I think they mentioned in here. So the second audition is a literal second audition where they're actually evaluating you from the first round and it's not just a registering thing. Hopefully that makes sense. So attach photos that show your upper torso and face and obviously the usual, you know, ah, what am I doing? What did I just do? Okay, we're back to it. So, and then you want to attach videos that feature your singing and your dancing. And I would recommend that you do two videos, but if you just do one, that is fine too. Make sure it aligns with the category that you apply to, and then make sure that you accurately entered every question. You can clearly go back to the page that you want to and check again, and then click next, and then it'll be the submit form. And that is pretty much it. So if you guys are headed to any of these companies, let me know. I would love to know which ones you're going to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh.